Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. And yes, guys, the Remarks Nevera has just set another world record. Literally, after setting 23 world records in a single day in the May of 2023, which are now 22 records because the Koenigsegg Regera came back and dethroned this one, which actually dethroned the Regera, which previously held the record. And that record is actually the not to 400 and back to not record, which was previously held by the Koenigsegg Regera, as I said. And it was broken by the Remarks Nevera, which set a time of 29.93 seconds. And the Regera came back, which is a literally nearly a decade old hypercar with literally no gearbox. It's got the drivetrain directly linked to the powertrain, which is a 5 litre twin turbo V8 with electric augmentation. And of course, it puts out 1500 horsepower. I mean, you literally can't even rev that thing when it's stationary. And that set a new time of 28.81 seconds, dethroning the 1900 horsepower Remax Navera. Impressive, right? But of course, 22 records set by the Remax Navera in a single day, which is still also oh impressive. But nevertheless, Koenigsegg demonstrating that even a decade old car can still pull it off. But nevertheless, coming to the new record, the new record is in fact a top speed record, but it's in reverse. Yes, guys, you've heard it right. They set the newest, fastest speed driving in reverse, which was previously held by the Caterham 7 Fireblade, which is actually set by Darren Manning. And the old record was 165.08 km an hour or 102.58 miles per hour. You'd think that is fast, right? But no, the rematch never pulled up and it set an all new benchmark with the speed of 275.74 kilometers an hour or 171.34 miles an hour. Wow, obviously 1900 horsepower, all wheel drive, instant power from those electric motors. It's got a quad electric motor setup where it's got one motor at every wheel. So it's basically all wheel drive. But nevertheless, Goran Derndak, who's actually the one who set the record himself, said that it was actually quite a challenge. Obviously, you're going nearly 300 kilometers in the wrong direction with your body going the opposite way. It is literally equivalent to basically heavy braking at a circuit or even in a Formula 1 car. And obviously, you have to keep track of the straightness, make sure that you're not, you're not going off of the road and into the bushes or wherever. And of course, this is set at a German test center, which is also where they set those 23 records, which is now 22. But nevertheless, a world record is still a world record and Rimats are slowly getting up there with the world records. And of course, the 1900 hours per Nevera demonstrating that it's got the balls to compete with some of the best big boys of the industry. And of course, we've got a lot more heavy hitters inbound, i.e. the Yesco Absolute, which has basically been released, but it's yet to attempt the top speed world record, which is currently held by the Chiron Supersport with a speed of 304.8 miles per hour. And the Yesco Absolute, which is the drag race or top speed variant of the Yesco, has been projected to it upwards of 310 miles per hour. Obviously, no one's done it yet, but I'm pretty sure Koenigsegg being Koenigsegg and literally returning with a nine-year-old car to once again dethrone a 1900 horsepower all-electric hypercar, they will definitely come with that and they could potentially, I'm pretty sure they will definitely give competition to the Chiron Supersport. I mean, it's one of the fastest revving cars out there, accelerating from 0 to 8,500 RPM in two tenths of a second. That is literal Formula 1 acceleration right there. But in fact, the Rematch never has actually discussed that it could in fact set the fastest speed driving in reverse record during the development, but everyone laughed it off. But then during the development, it was discovered that it could hit 150 miles per hour while going back. And Rematch ended up breaking their own prediction with a speed of 171.34 miles an hour. Shows what you can do if you just put your mind to it. But nevertheless, a huge congratulations to Matt Rimats and of course Rimats and of course Goran Durndak on obviously doing this very impressive feat. Let's see what the future holds for Rimats. Obviously, we've got a lot of competitors, Bugatti, Koenigsegg. So you've got some big boys up there and of course Rimats are slowly making their way up the charts and I'm pretty sure they will give some huge competition to the big boys on top. Anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Remember to hit that sub button and click the bell to ensure that you don't miss out on any future videos. Thanks a lot for watching guys. See ya.